The Pakistani Supreme Court has ruled Yusuf Raza Gilani ineligible to hold his position as the country's prime minister. MSNBC explains. After his contempt of court conviction in April, Prime Minister Gilani had 30 days within which he could file an appeal. He failed to do so, arguing that the president enjoyed immunity from prosecution. But his failure to file an appeal rendered the earlier conviction final and disqualified him from office. Gilani was found guilty of contempt of court after refusing to launch corruption investigations against his superior, Pakistani President Asif Ali Zardari. A BBC reporter in Islamabad says Gilani and the president are not expected to appeal the latest decision. The court will insist that it is simply following the letter of the law, the letter of the constitution. Uh, the prime minister himself has said in the past that he would respect any judgment that was handed down by the court. The New York Times says Gilani's dismissal escalates the confrontation between Pakistan's government and its judicial arm. The decision effectively means that Pakistan's prime minister post has been vacant since Gilani's April conviction. It calls into question the validity of all Gilani's executive decisions made since April 26th, including the passing of the federal budget. One commentator said it opened a massive legal can of worms. The decision also technically dissolves Pakistan's entire cabinet. Bloomberg asked, what's next for Pakistan? A former ambassador provides the answer. Most likely, we will see the nomination and election of a new prime minister. But this ruling coalition can also decide to take the matter to the streets against the judiciary. The extended legal and political turmoil may also further distract the ruling coalition as it seeks to lift a $200 billion economy hit by power shortages and a rising budget shortfall. For Newsy, I'm Megan Murphy. Multiple sources, The Real Story.